out again. Howdy, 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 howdy. We are at an awesome restaurant called Loose, where they serve a variety of different entrees. Uh, what we've got today is one of their more famous things that they've got here besides the sandwich. The we've sandwich. The we've got the wings. They are known for their wings here. Um, this is the They've won some awards at Wing Fest for the sauce that's on those wings. Yes. So let that be noted. We just had Wing Fest and it was a big to do even with the whole COVID thing going on. So that's nice. Yeah. Those so. are the spicy garlic. Yeah, yes. spicy garlic. And then the sub here is called the Italian Hoagie. So. That's a look at the menu. Yeah. So <laughs> what she's going to try first are the spicy garlic wings. She hates hot stuff, but she's going to eat this today. Um, yeah. All right, let me grab me a napkin here. Oh, man. I'm going to try some with the ranch. And without try it without. And without without ranch. Exactly. Get the full flavor. Egg, yeah. Precisely. Right, let's try this. Let's see the soup. Are those bones? Ooh. Ooh. Are they bones? This one is, yeah. Okay. You might want to wipe your face. That's okay. You don't want to get it in your eyes. No. Oh yeah, apparently yeah. I did get it everywhere. <laughs> wow, these are actually really good. Like, oh my god. So we're gonna try, try to be this gentleman one. I'm a caveman. Wow. Those are legit. Now, it's not hot, right. but it's very garlicky. Look at that. Now, they sell bone-in wings here. It's what they're known for. But these are boneless. Yeah. These are, oh my God. These are phenomenal. Just even I even like them. I actually would prefer these without the, without the, um, the ranch is a bit runny, as you can see. Mm. So, good. so as I said in our Facebook Live video, we would like to uh, have one lucky viewer come on and do a review with us. Mm. What do you think about that? Oh my god. Like we have somebody do a review. Oh yeah, yeah. Y'all need to Oh my god. Hit the like, subscribe, and comment section and we'll pick we'll pick somebody to come with us. Don't forget to hit that bell so you're notified every time we upload. I mean, what do you have to lose? Nope. If you've been in the video this long, then you might as well subscribe. Otherwise, you can subscribe, and if you decide you don't like it, you can unsubscribe. Yep. Good though. I like that. That's a good spice though. Like not like 
overly spicy. Like I can't handle that, just eating them by themselves. We've uh, started a thing where we let the restaurant pick what we're gonna do. Sorry about the shaking. Uh, we're sitting up pretty high and it's a little unstable. But we're starting a thing where we let the restaurant pick their top items that they think are really good and then we try them. I think that's a pretty you know, stupendous idea. It's innovative for sure. It lets you know like what's their top items. I've only seen a few people do that. Um, Kim Domic uh, is one of the main ones in uh, Canada. Should watch that Kindomic reviews. He's he's pretty pretty sweet. Oh my god, yeah. Uh, we'll put a link to his YouTube channel in the description below. Uh, one day we hope to to do some sort of a video with him where we go somewhere out of our comfort zone. Maybe even go to Canada. That'd be cool. Uh, and then you got JP and Julia, Healthy Junk Food. They have two channels, Healthy Junk Food and JP and Julia. They've done the same thing. Go somewhere and let the place pick it. So we'll put their links in in the comments or in the uh, description below. But like I said in the beginning, this is going to be a roll and cut. Yep. In um, the moment. So you're gonna you're gonna see mainly that one over there mess up quite a bit. Yeah, I tend to do um, that a lot. I've got to bring him a nap. But so. Uh, so ruffles, we all know those are good. Oh yeah. Let's but check it out. Pickle. You got a pickle. You got a pickle. Mm, that's, that's your kind of thing right there. Pickle. We just like I think that's dill. Mm -hmm. Yep. Not a big dill pickle kind of guy, but. Sweet. He likes a, what, bread and butter? Sweet pickles? Mama makes the best homemade bread and butter pickles. Oh my god. Look at that without making a mess. That is huge, people. Oh my god. And it looks so delicious. Watch this. It's got coleslaw. It's got coleslaw. So it looks like it has ham, turkey, lettuce. Um, one of those oh homemade pickles. Holy moly. So, really messy, but. As we all know, the messiest stuff is always the best. Oh my god, yeah. So, take a look at that. Scratch it, sniff it, the rest is all mine. Oh. That is phenomenal. Oh my god. Yeah. Very sweet. I like the small. You get the bite from the sweet coleslaw. <laughs> a little bit of the saltiness from the ham. <laughs> Of course, I'm the messy one, as you can plainly tell. I apologize. Wow. Well, I'm not really a ham good. guy, but the ham is really good. Ham tends to be a kind of bit salty, but that goes well with the coleslaw. Yeah, because the, the salty and the sweet always is a very good combination when you're pairing it. Let me try this again. Shall we? <laughs> yeah, that's not good. Oops. Oops. Really? <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. She also has baby hands and a baby mouth. Wow. Mm. There you go. It's still messy. I can't, I cannot do it. So. Pretty darn good, man. Mine's like a bar here. Looks better than mine. <laughs> Look at this homemade pickle. At least I think that's a pickle. Actually, I think it is. Jalapeno. Jalapeno? Yeah. Try it. Oh boy. That looks like a jalapeno, actually. Oh my god. Yeah. Holy shit. Sorry. I don't mean to cuss. Kids show. Oh, God. Cool. 
As you can tell, I'm not a spice person <laughs> at all. As you can tell, she's the guinea pig. The brunt of his enjoyment, which is totally fine. Oh. So, mm. Sam, I know you're watching this. It's uh, time to <laughs> come out of that comfort shell. Let's let's get together and do a, a nice little food review. You pick the place. And we'll go there, and I'll be a dummy pig. And we'll make it happen. A dummy pig, I <laughs> We'll get the phoenix over here to chicken out and call people. I so, so we're gonna calling you out. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of good places downtown. Just gotta know where to find them. So and get me to do my job and call. So. So, let's go get Chris. Jason, as you call him. His name is Chris. I can call it that, so we'll be right back. I or think I, I think his name is Jason. Oh my god. Oh, you mean Chris? Oh, yes, that's his name, Chris. Chris. So we're gonna switch it around here. We gotta do like a raw, uncut type of like interviews. Like we used to do like scripted, but it's actually more enjoyable if you just like it's off the cuff. Off right. the cuff type <laughs> deal. More yeah. original. Yeah, definitely. So alright. You were explaining to me. Excuse me. The jalapeno got me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm usually not a spice person, but he's like, try this, see if it's a pickle, and I'm like Okay, try my tongue's on fire right now. <laughs> Woo. Anyway, um, when I was in the kitchen with you, you were explaining to me that the owner, um, about the owner and like what he's all about. So, kind of explain to our viewers what you were telling me. Uh, you know, uh, the the owner he he started out just as a dishwasher with the uh, uh, at the, when uh, it was the original owner of Blues. Uh, a few years later, he ended up becoming a server, a cook, and just worked his way up, and then he ended up buying the restaurant, and he's had it for 16 years now. That's awesome. Um, and you were from the Roanoke area, so was the, the owner. You were telling me a story about that. So what was, uh, it, how it, did that? It, 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 uh, well, I've been with the company off and on for about 11 years, and 11 year, years ago when I started, uh, come to find out, me and the owner grew up in the same neighborhood he was I was on one block he was on another block we all <laughs> kind of three degrees of separation hung out with all the same people kind of like the same lot where you're like yeah you, you know this kid and this kid and yeah his, throw them all know, together yeah you throw it together and one day you got a ball game or you know run at each other something like that and then we uh we went to school together up until all through middle school and we went to one high school and I went to another and just had no clue about it until all of a sudden I need a job. Hey, this is who I am. I've got my this restaurant. Is, yeah. Hey, you want to work here? This is who I am. This is who I am. Wow, wow. Hey, that's really neat. That's actually a good connection. And, you know, what is the connection with, like, as far as Roanoke goes? Like, I know you do the Wing Fest, and we'll talk about that here in just a second, but, like, more of a personal level. Uh, you know, uh, well, I mean, you know, the owner, the, the owner herself, and, uh, manager down at the original uh, Lou's and Hollins, they went to school together. They, they were, they've been buddies for years, and they've been yeah. doing this as partners in a sense, uh, where uh, Moose, <laughs> uh, he's, uh, he manages down there at Hollins, and he's done it for the past 16 years, and that place has gone from, uh, you know, I, I remember 10, 11 years ago, you'd go in there, and it, it was it was just slow, kind of slow. You'd stand around, yeah. you know. I, you know, you get two, three-hour breaks in between shifts. Oh, wow. You know, now you don't even have time to breathe, let alone maybe go to the bathroom. Yeah, very they are sick. so the busy. And from the success from that, they decided to open this location. Now we've been here four years now, I believe. And wow. We're, we're steady chugging along. You know, trying to. Be just another good staple in, in, the Roanoke, in the Roanoke Valley. I mean, you know, you mentioned you know people from around here. You mentioned off Arthur's, or you mentioned all sports, or uh, 
um, you know that cheesesteak factory uh, yeah here. yeah you know everyone knows everyone knows who knows about it. oh yeah it's this place and yeah that they got the best this or that or the other yeah. and you know that's kind of what we're trying to do you know we want we want to put out good food with good customer service and well shoot we've gotten the, that already at the end of the My day God. you know go home with a fat belly and a and uh, ready for some nap time after <laughs> some of the food that you get from here. Crayons and course. a blanket and a fork. There you go. Come Amen. up underneath that. I got a couple kids. I'll build a fork. Hey, there you day. go. I used to love Speaking those. Speaking of kids, you got, you, I got some. some they're for sale. Oh, yeah. no. A couple twins, five-year-old. No, I'm good. I've got three dogs and my husband. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, Wing Fest. Oh, now, y'all... <coughs> how did y'all get started into doing that? Um... Well, uh, you know, Dr. Pepper Park, they, uh, they're they the ones who came up with the idea for the Wing Fest for here really? in the Redick Valley. Oh, uh, that's awesome. to, to my knowledge, you know, I could be wrong if I'm wrong, you know, someone out there knows. Comment below. By all means, correct me. <laughs> uh, but uh, from what I know, uh, they were the ones who started it. They had they got the backers and stuff like that. And uh, the opportunity came up. And they, you know, uh, the past two, year, uh, two years ago, I have not been with them down there for it. Yeah. But uh, this year I have. And uh, I mean, even with the COVID going on, yeah, it was, that's it was just, uh, I mean, it, it was a lot of fun. It's it's great seeing all just all the people in the Redding Valley to come through. You don't really grasp how many people you see and how many people. That's what I was gonna say because we're so spread out. The, yeah, you know, for a valley of like two, three hundred thousand people or something like that. Doesn't seem like that. You you be surprised how many people like hey, I know you like. Like, okay, where yeah, did you come right. from? Like, hey, what buddy. neck of the woods did you come out of? Yeah. Like, <laughs> rock, would you? Okay. <laughs> but, um, yes, ma'am. Uh, but, uh, uh, the past few years at Wingfest, uh, uh, the owner, he's had uh, a couple sauces that he's done. And, uh, the year before last, he won all the best sauce, uh, best traditional wing, uh, first place overall. This mm -hmm. year, uh, yeah, no. Uh, this year we got a uh, second place overall, best traditional wing, and people's choice, which, uh, you know, I guess, in the terms of all of it, that's the one everybody wants see, to see for. You want the people to love you, and, see, you know, and, three years, yeah. guys, thank you. We appreciate that wholeheartedly. Yeah, and see, and especially when you have, like, a local chain, like, Buffalo Wild Wings, it's like, really? No. Yeah, I no. want someone that's local that has, like, mm, wings, you know? Well, yeah, I mean, you know, if, uh, kind of wimped out on me and went for the boneless but if you our traditional wings they're uh we'll do that they're, next time they're, they're they're huge they look like pterodactyl legs oh my they God. are massive you think t-rex baby arms oh no like t-rex like guns yeah. <laughs> shooting guns man <laughs> you know i don't know what they took them chickens down with but it had to <laughs> been a shotgun <laughs> they're big um other than that, you know, uh, with Wing Fest, you know, we've gotten to do, uh, we're doing a great partnership with uh, Dr. Pepper Park this year. My for, favorite drink in the world. Ten, two, and four. Thank you. All school. Yeah, yeah. I always <laughs> ordered that, and that's why we got that sign. Yeah, we'll have to show y'all pictures of that one day. Yeah. Um, but uh, we part, you know, uh, with the success from Wing Fest, we've ended up partnering with Dr. Pepper Park. So, uh, Right now, this year, while there's still a couple shows left for at Dr. Pepper Park, uh, those Friday, Friday nights, Saturday nights, or whatever the show is, yeah. uh, if you come out here, we're doing a two can dine for twenty two dollars. You can get uh, uh, we got a number of uh, appetizers that you can get, a number of entrees, our our burgers on there, our cheese steaks are on there, a lot of good things. Regarding the subs, now you gave us it's what the Italian it, it's our, hoagie. It's our Italian hoagie. It's one of the best sellers. So, what all is on the Italian hoagie? What all do y'all put on it? Uh, <laughs> it was stacked high. It was huge. There yeah. is uh, Italian dressing, bologna, salami, ham, uh, our house-made coleslaw, cherry peppers, onions, and pro-plum cheese. We cook it off in the oven until it's nice. That coleslaw is good. Uh, I'm, we're both picky with coleslaws, and let me tell you something. That coleslaw is really good. Our, very good. We are very stringent on following our recipe. Gotta old, make, old gotta recipes. make sure, gotta make sure everyone likes it. Make sure it's right. So how are you? How is the restaurant coping with the whole pandemic thing? So what are y'all doing to help uh, the community with that? Boy, it's hard. You know, know, with restaurants, with restaurants and COVID, it's a, it's a tricky thing because 
you know, so many of them are not coming back. No, because of and this. that's sad. You know, uh, it, it was really sad because right when it started, you know, we had to let go almost all of our staff. It was, you know, three of us in the kitchen doing everything when we usually had like seven, eight people as, as a full staff, you know, working Friday, Saturday nights with a packed house. And then to go literally from that to nothing to back to the same business, but you got to push it all out the door. Uh, yeah, take out. It, it, was, uh, it, it was hard. It was definitely a challenge. But, you know, luckily, I think, for the uh, for the people of the Roanoke Valley, you know, they came through for us hands down and kept coming and supporting us, buying See, food, and, and you know, that's, again, yeah. it resorts back to Dr. Pepper Park again. You know, they did a rock to the rescue uh, for See. downtown uh, Roanoke businesses and restaurants, and you know, luckily we were one that got some help, and several others that are in downtown uh, got some money and proceeds and stuff that, uh, from the bands or from them for. See, that's what, help out with COVID. that's what um we're trying to do you know with us me and my husband by doing the youtube channels because this is such a good place to come and visit but yet we need our other viewers to see what we're all about you yeah. know and that's why we wanted to come in here and interview <coughs> and try the food and let our viewers know what is. bring revenue i know it's in a sure. trying time but yeah, uh, we need it here yeah, you know yeah. You know, they're you know not so much of a restaurant, but you know places Other around, businesses, just right around yeah. the corner from us, the Five Points Music Sanctuary. You know, they're they're a charitable charitable proceeds uh, place to go for hearing impaired, and you know we love these love those guys. We try to work with them. They're hitting they're getting it hard. They can't book any shows. Yeah. You know, they they uh, they're used to I think that. They've had like one or two so far that they've been able to do outside. You know, we miss the heck out of those guys being open and having. Bands and all the people yeah. come through because I mean it brought people in our doors. Yep. So it know, reflects off each other. Yeah. Each business. Yeah. It, it, it hits off each other. Bounces off each other. If one's not doing good, it, yeah. Got to keep it copacetic. It ain't copacetic right now. Yeah, we gotta no. get rid of this noise and get back to normal times. Yeah. So, well, we do thank you for doing the interview today. How can our viewers find on find the restaurant and all the business on social media? What outlets do y'all have? Oh wow! Uh, well, you can find us on you can find uh, Lou's, Lou's Restaurant Southwest on Facebook. You can find Lou's Restaurant for Holland's on Facebook also. Uh, if you're feeling froggy, everyone's got the smartphones now. You can the <laughs> downloader app. Uh, it's, you have an app? Yes, we do. We have a free app. It is powered by Chow Now. Okay. Uh, you can go through. You can you know pick everything you want. Do your admins that you want. To, okay. You know you don't like cherry peppers. Well, you know, you know, we'll take nice the spice spine. off, baby. We'll get rid of it. It's okay. You know, pull the hot peppers off or whatever it may be. You, you know, we've got it here. You can also, uh, uh, you know, Chow Now will work with DoorDash. You can always come. Hey, pick, there you go. You know, you can always come pick it up from us. We'll always be here to have it ready for us. You can find okay. us at 11 Walnut Avenue, right off of Jefferson Street in downtown Roanoke, and you can find the other clues okay. at 770. Seven, I believe the numbers are uh, Williamson Road, and it's just up from Holland's College, right across okay. the street from uh, True Value. You can't awesome. miss it. It's a great place. Well, if you go down there, look for the big guy with the beard. His name's Moose. Tell him what's up. That's my <laughs> man. That's my boy. All righty. Well, we do thank you for doing this interview today and allow us to come in and try the food. So, mm -hmm. and I hope that you enjoy the rest of your day. And thank you. Thank you. Appreciate you Hello. guys coming out. Yeah, yeah. Y'all.